I can remember when Negroes were just going around, as Ralph has said, so often scratching where they didn't itch and laughing when they were not tickled. That day is all over. We mean business now, and we are determined to gain our rightful place in God's world. The saddest thing for me is to see a mother cry over her child. That's the absolute saddest thing for me is for a mother to cry. Have you ever heard a mother scream after hearing about her child being murdered in the street? Her child, something that she carried for nine months, raised for how many ever years? One thing I've kind of learned is you never grow up to your parents. Whether you're 45, 25, 15, 35, you are always that person's child. I say that to say this, in black society, as long as we are beholden to snitch and cooperation and not knowing the difference between being a snitch and not knowing the difference between cooperating for the betterment of your whole group or your whole town or your whole area, until we figure out the difference between snitching and cooperating, there are going to continue to be mothers crying. Our kids are going to continue to be slaughtered in the streets because silence is compliance. If you say nothing, nothing's going to get done. If you do nothing, nothing's going to get done. You know, whenever Pharaoh wanted to prolong the period of slavery in Egypt, he had a favorite, favorite formula for doing it. What was that? He kept the slaves fighting among themselves.